welcome back to Big Brother Sis Reacts. I'm Taya and this is Rainy. Okay. And that's Tamaraj. And we're back with How to Get Away with Murder, season three. Yeah, episode if you two. didn't introduce me, it was going to be a murder, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Where is it? There are things worse than murder. Yeah. I, I still got my walking dead set up, y'all, because I literally watched it and went to sleep. So I'm a mess. So, yeah. yeah. And we weren't supposed to record this before. Okay, not too much. Anyway, um, I ain't take no notes. I don't think I'm taking notes no more. I can I can remember it because it'd be too much going on and I'm stressed. Um, and you write and you well you rewrite most of it and you edit it anyways. I know I'm behind on editing though, but that's besides the point, y'all. Okay. Um, we got a new student that's in the competition and at least got a new class because they basically fired her from her criminal law one. Um. And so it's like a some sort of study program where they become lawyers. So Michaela, was it Michaela? Mm -hmm. Michaela and the old boy um, were the ones that were representing the man who they were trying to deport. They unfortunately failed, but they and did West. tell him. Uh, West was helping. Everybody was helping, but they t Annalise told them that, like, don't feel bad if y'all lose. Most of these cases do. That's just how the system works. And unfortunately... Yeah, that's what happened. And the daughter was um, from the, the Walking Dead World Beyond. But yeah, she was the culprit. The dad just took the fall, which is a shame. Um, meanwhile, we got the flash forward going on. Somebody's going to die this season. Annalise's house was burnt to a crisp, and she was breaking down. Um, we had theories on who that was, so y'all can go check out our lengthy breakdown in the last one. Um, also, what else was going on? Um... What was happening the present oh, day? Oh, her um, poster murderer was everywhere. Yeah, so somebody's picking on her. Frank is apparently trying to kill our folks. Even though we didn't do shit to him, we just, all we did was find out that, uh, well, Laura knows he killed um, Lila. And we also, and at least learned that, you know, he got in bed with the Mahoney dude and caused her accident to lose her baby. But all of a sudden now, Frank wanted to kill us. But Annalise did hire a hitman. So... She was ready to take his ass out, but that's because they don't trust him now, and he has literally all the information to take them down. Yeah. So that's and more. But I think she should just let him go into the wind and not hire a hitman because who else gonna hire a hitman on Frank? She know he knows it's her. So mm, uh -huh. that's not good. And then the hitman got hit. So yeah, he wasn't hitting right. But anyway, let's see what they got um, in this one. Full and early reaction. Oh, West girlfriend is real, y'all. I'm a little disappointed, but she was so sweet. Previously on How to Get Away with Murder. What's the deal with your father? He is not a good person. We're going to get some lower backstory this season. I think we should break up. Any new significant others besides this little lady? Hi. 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 I ain't even ready for that. Y'all, I'm not actually looking forward to solving this mystery. Oh my god. You're in shock right now, I understand that. Unfortunately, we do need to get as much information from you right now as possible. Can you tell us where you work for? Clinic. At the pickups look. Anyone else see you there? Someone who can vouch for your whereabouts? Are you joking? Houses, but in you want to make me a suspect. Hold on, no one's saying anything like yeah, that. Be a monster, that's fine, but don't be a dumbass as well. To be clear, your neighbor saw your car in the driveway all day. You want to arrest me for burning down my house? Then do it! Cuff me right here! Arrest me! Go and arrest me! Tossing and turning all night, talking gibberish. At least, was it a sex dream? Is that what you want to tell me about it? He had another guy up in his bed. Who says it was a guy? Uh -huh. I don't know. No way I'm letting you leave me eye dry. <laughs> she was thinking about that hitman. I thought 
talking about was Frank. Frank's on the phone talking. That's not Frank. Yes, it is. I got an idea. Why he look like that? He look weird. In the show. Shake his hair, my friend. Both of us. And then I'm meeting up to get uh, together. Hello? This is Elise. Hi, this is Candace from President Hargrove's office. That didn't look like... She was hoping you had time to stop by today. That didn't look like Frank. Well, it was. We just wanted to let you know that we have launched a priority investigation into who posted the flyers. We're having campus security increase their patrols too, as well as having them review our active shooter drills with all of our employees. This is all standard stuff. We're not concerned. I wasn't right. concerned until you started telling me I'm not concerned you were. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted you to know we're on it. It's probably just some student blowing off steam. Most likely. All right, well, I'd like to move on about my day. Don't have no news for me. Safe space using me and you can express your feelings. And I don't have to take it literally. It's fine. It's just HR covering their asses. <laughs> if you only knew. How's the clinic going? Good. Thanks again for making that work. I should be thanking you for coming up with such a great idea. Were you meeting with the president? How'd you know? I just walked out of her office. Oh, Is it about the flyers? No, that's all over. They've been getting so along real well. Got that apartment? Yeah. You should move out. Come stay with me. What are you wow. talking about? Well, you can save money for a little. But it's weird. Why? Very Maggie weird. For one? Maggie. And my girlfriend. I told you about it. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that because the house burnt down. All right. Well, don't forget I said anything. Go study. No one ever became a good lawyer hanging out the quad. Okay. Funny she was gonna help him, but not um, Asher. But she does feel beholden to take care of Wes after, you know, she had played a part. Um, What's all this? I'm reorganizing because your stupid clinic and families can't take their cases anymore. It's not my clinic. Is there any news on the Mahoney case? We don't care about that case. The cops haven't arrested anyone yet. Wes could still be a suspect. He's not. How do you know that? Because Eve is on it. She has a contact at the NYPD, so just relax. Wes is not a suspect. Is Frank? Laurel? You would tell me if you'd heard from him so that at least I know he's not dead. Maybe he is. Don't say that. What are you girls gossiping about? I just keep saying hi to Bonnie. Why does that mean? No, we know that's not. weird. Okay, chill episode so far. Minus the beginning. Smash it. Now what in the hell? Huh? Does that look like Frank to you? Yeah, he got in a car crash. Oh, because he was already beat up. So you gotta make it look like it was legit. Or maybe not. I don't know what the fuck is going on. He don't even look like Frank to me. Why he looks so weird? I know he shaved his head, but his face looks weird. Oh, stage of that card. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They are gonna be able to tell us the gas on the fire. Okay. Maybe I was because I wasn't looking at his good side. Because this ugly side is fucked up right now. That's why I couldn't recognize it. Are you sure it's not weird? I've never seen you wear a suit in class before. Gas that's because yes. I don't look as dashing as you when I wear one. But there's gasoline in the car. Hey, uh, what oh, okay, do you well, think about yeah. this apartment? Fair point. I never said you had a rush to move out. Shouldn't be late for my first day. Do you want to walk over there together? or? Um, you know what? I would actually feel more comfortable if we went separately. Oh, okay. You did um, dump him. Do you want me to go first? I'm kidding. Come on. What did you do? For real, do not tell me that you cheat on my boy. No, actually, it was his decision. Apparently, he's been thinking about it all summer. You don't think there's something else coming up? Wait, you doubt my boy cheated on you? Have any of you seen these articles? They're all about the flyers. Oh, down we go. We're ignoring that right now. Oliver dumped Connor. Why? Why? Oh my god, you cheated on him. No. <laughs> 
No, I, he thinks that he wants some space, and clearly I'll be changing his mind by the end of the week. Damn, the girl's cocky. Well, you'd understand if you gave me a go at that ass. Oh, sorry, this ass is taken. By who? Seriously, who is this weirdo? Pop will number of at the bar, but she's stacked up. I'll tell you, she's up top and bottom. Okay, am I the only one who cares about this? I think it's good. Journalists might be able to figure out who's putting flyers up. You ever think Annalisa's put them up herself? And why would she do that? To get attention, to play the victim. Why would you get That's love? ridiculous. Is it? Take a seat. Courts assigned us a new client. Irene Crowley, convicted of murdering her husband Rodney when she was 31 years old. The weapon? A claw hammer. After she finished, she showered, took the bus to work, punched in on time for her shift at the factory. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Why are you here? Um, you said I should come and introduce myself? Class. This is Mr. Hampton. I've hired him as a clinic's technology expert. He's getting paid, so use him as you wish. As long <laughs> as it's legal. Thank you for mentioning uh, that. My desk is down the hall in the Mr. Hampton. Okay. Today, Irene is 63 years old. She's served 32 years in prison and has been denied parole six times. Now we're gonna fight like hell to get her free. Why? Irene was physically and sexually abused by her husband throughout their 10-year marriage. Now, at the time, the courts did not allow past abuse into evidence, That's which left bullshit. them without a defense. Domestic abuse victims are afforded greater protections now, so we need to create a narrative for the parole board that highlights the psychological trauma that led to your episode with your husband. That was no episode. You're right, bad word choice. Call it what you want. I call it my finest hour. Each of you will be given one minute to present a parole strategy to Irene. The key here is to focus on the kind of childhood you had before you met Rodney. I had a normal childhood. Really? The file says yeah, that she's got a bad relationship. With rough conditions. Rougher than yours. I'm sorry? Those teeth tell me you came for money. Who's next? Oh, oh she's saying get somebody else on yeah. the Oh, that's picky. One, if released, Bougie does prisoners. Irene pose a danger? Well, stress for exemplary prison record. Did you attend any AA meetings, Bible study? I only went to those meetings because my cellmate kept crapping her phone. Number two, you have you to still prove that she is remorseful for her crime. Yeah. Are you sorry because you declined a chance to apologize to your husband's family? Dead husband's family. See, you don't seem remorseful. And until you start acting sorry, no parole board's going to release you. Yeah, you gotta pretend. Wait, so can I go now? Now, the parole board consists of three old white men. How do I know that? Shocker. Because they're always old white men, typically from law enforcement backgrounds. You know why you should pick me? Because I'm white. <laughs> Just like the guys who are deciding your fate. Do I think that's cool? No. But I do think it's smart. Racism for the win, right? Is this something funny? Racism for the you win is crazy. Me my husband. I was brilliant. Oh, I mean, like, let me get out of here. I thought I'd get murdered. murdered. Score. One less white guy to compete with. He doesn't want the case, genius. He knows it's a loser. We have a winner. Irene was very clear on who she connected with. Yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Walsh. Oh, shit. Of course, the one who don't want to get to it. Sorry, we had to go get our food. We are starving. I was getting weak in the knees. You know how back in the day they used to be like, uh, they hit you in the back of the knee. Up. What? You don't even stand it up. I'm saying in general, like people, like, people used to go uh, and hit you in the back of the knee, like, oh, you hungry? Yeah, that was me. This so we finna eat. That's unfortunate yeah. for you. Your blood is nice and steaming. Um, yeah. How about that? Uh uh, don't have no. Uh uh. You should. I can have this one. No, thank you. I have me the white one. All right. Listen, Next time, that's fine. Dang, I didn't get no ketchup. This is a war crime. All right, let's get back into this. We making our viewers hungry, and we can't provide y'all no food. Garlic. Hey. I'm somewhere to be with. Are you worried Frank's behind the flyers? That's why you asked me to move that. No. Ah. Why did you ask me? Yeah, my is there. Because I'm an idiot. I get it brought it up. What are you worried about me? Think that Frank might try to pin Mahoney's shooting on me, or worse. God's honest, I'm lonely. That's why I asked you to move in with me. I'm tired of eating alone. I don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I 
can't make you. Actually, I have plans to make some. I need you to help me find Frank. Yeah, like I ain't trying to get back in none of this shit. I'm worried Frank might come back. Do something. What? I just have a feeling. You just have a feeling. You want me to show you like, uh -uh, what you do? Sam was his doctor in prison. You never told me that. Yeah, well, I didn't think it mattered anymore. What? But you think he's dangerous? He has the potential to be. And you been okay with that? Listen, I never asked Frank to do anything violent for me. You just had him set me up for Sam's murder. What am I like that? I hope you find him. Have you seen this? There's an article on Annalise in almost every single paper. Slow news day, I guess. This is a big deal. Is it? Yes. Is ever putting these up could be crazy or dangerous or... Or just really bored. Annalise is one of ten women in a senior position at Middleton, and then along comes some pissy, probably white, troll out to destroy her career. Her career's doing fine. No, for now. Well, I made dessert. She should have money, though. I didn't even touch it. It didn't make anything, and it's the same color as my cadaver's esophageal sphincter. Close your eyes. Nothing dangerous in that line. I ain't gonna lie, they're cute. Okay, here's the game plan for Irene's case. We're going to divide and conquer in teams. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Seriously? Build your own burrito bar at lunch, bro. Team one will be Michaela. Michaela, you actually Asher. slept with it. Look. What's wrong with them? You think that I want to do this? No, but it's our job. I mean, your job. What's all of comment? our jobs. And yes, the chances of us winning this are small. Hello, asshole with, Connor. Uh, zero. Not you want to inspire me here? Connor. Don't crap on a case just because you're feeling a little insecure. Uh, team one will find witnesses to testify to the abuse. All the neighbors are dead. Everyone she worked with at the factory, dead. Well, you know who's not dead? Little Asher when he's with you. Not here. Why? You embarrassed to be banging a white dude? Okay. The fact that you and your seer sucker I never seen a black girl naked until me just made this a race issue is so problematic. I don't even know where to start. I just don't see the point in keeping this a secret anymore. I think of Bonnie's You always want to tell everybody. And Connor, he just got dumped. We have to be more sensitive. Well, you know who else we have to be sensitive to? This shouldn't even be a thing. Little Asher. This is... Help me find a stupid witness. Our biggest hurdle is going to be the dead husband's sister, Amber. She's shown up at every parole hearing to testify against Irene's release. Laurel and Wes, you guys seem sweet, so we use that to advantage. Uh -huh. He was my brother. There's no way in hell I'm helping that woman get out of jail. We're just suggesting you talk to her. See the progress she's made since the last parole hearing. She wants to apologize to you. Do you think I want that? I'm the one who found Rodney's body. Oh. I slipped in his blood. I fell on him. I'm dead. Wow. Screw forgiveness. Our most important angle, of course, is Irene's own testimony. She's a bit of a hard nut to crack, so uh, Simon and Natalie, you guys are going to go down to the prison and talk to her. Excuse me? Our client picked you as first chair, Mr. Walsh. Yeah, I, I just thought she'd feel more comfortable talking to a woman about her abuse. And why son me? Unless I grew a vagina, I don't know about. Why don't you check? Go to the prison and do your job. First, the last yeah, of my life. life before the crime. But mostly, you'll tell them about your life with your husband. The abuse that led up to the events of that night. I don't remember anything from that night. Nothing. Not a lick. I think you're lying. I think you do remember. I, I don't blame you for not wanting to talk about it. I wouldn't want to either. We know what that you don't want to talk about. Well, I read about what he did to you. Reading about it's different than being there. You want to know what's worse? The feeling I get during those hearings, those men on the board warning me on my knees, spill my deepest and darkest, beg, only to tell me no again. Yeah, I wouldn't like that either. Because I know them why I ain't sorry. I'd rather get hit. Sam's sister, she was such a bitch. I'm not kidding. What about Nate? He could be playing along. Mm, put him down. No, it makes me sad. What are you guys doing? 
It's uh, AK's enemies list. Uh, one of these pieces has got to be behind the flyers. You're not Reebok. You're going to rot in prison if you don't help me, right? You forgot about Maggie. Oh. Yes. No. You said you met her at a bookstore, do you think that's a little bit suspicious? How is that suspicious? We should have Oliver hack her. No. I named her work on my case. You were looking up stuff by Deal with it. Oliver. They're so rude. I know you're bored. You make that very clear with how loud you're stomping around with those boxes. This isn't about you're that. You're very bored. It's Laurel. She wasn't just here to say hi? No. She was asking me if I heard from him, so I paid to get her phone logs. And look, she's been calling Frank. I hate them. Every single one of their bitch ass lying faces. Let me take care of it. Damn. Oh. Don't worry. No, we need to worry because yeah. you be killing folks, Bonnie. Yeah. She'll murder. Bonnie's a murder. Miss Tell us a bit about your I need relationship every time. with your husband. Let's start with how you met. It's not like free thing. Hit me up in a bar. I got knocked up. Right. A few weeks later, we got married. Can I ask what happened with the child? It was a girl. She died inside of me. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not your fault. Miss Crowley, I'd like to discuss the alleged abuse. Uh, I'm sorry, can we just back up for a second? Uh, the reason you lost the child, this was due to the abuse, yes? I never said that. No, but uh, hospital records show that you had a broken wrist at the time that you were admitted for the miscarriage, so... Ms. Keating! This is her time to speak for her. My apologies. I've read all your files, Ms. Crowley, and the problem that I'm having is during the trial, guy, you never officially stated that your husband abused you. Is that true? It's in the file, I guess so. She never said anything because her lawyer advised her not to. Quiet. I'm asking because it strikes me as a convenient parole strategy to invent claims of abuse now that the laws have changed in favor of the victim. It wasn't my strategy. So are we or are we not to believe you were abused? You're going to believe whatever you want, no matter what I say. If you look in file C11, there are photos taken after one of Mr. Crowley's attacks that are evidence of the abuse. Fine. Let's say you were indeed abused. The police report states that there was no imminent threat at the time of the murder. So my question is, if your husband was abusing oh, you so pay. badly, why did you kill him instead of just leaving him? That is the wrong question. Quick recess. You're asking my client what's wrong with her when you should be asking what was wrong with the man that repeatedly battered her. Color enough. Instead, you're putting the burden on the victim. Young man, you need to rein it my in. My client has suffered a lifetime of horror. And it's continuing the cycle of abuse, and I won't allow it. Now, she's been bullied enough, and I think we need to finally listen to her. Annalise be going off like this, though. He be watching you. You be going off. He would have judged me like, stop it. That is not, not what her happened. Fault that I can't keep my mouth shut. I should be punished for that. Relax, not relax, okay? Breathe. That was just a first session. We can still fix this. If I go back in there, I'm just going to screw it up. You should fire me. Well, Irene is the only one who could fire you, and she hasn't done that yet. You're her counsel now. And for once in her life, the only man that's not going to disappoint her. I'll be right back. Wait, you have to help me prepare. I'm just stepping outside, call the no, others. She's not, she's not, watch her not do that. Call the others. I don't do nothing about Michaela and Asha. I'll keep this shit. You have to tell me. We're not a couple. We're never gonna be a couple. Thank you. Why not? I can't be in a relationship with somebody who is literally the opposite of everything I stand for. I'm a cooler guy than I used to be. You you have to admit that. I'm, I'm you fired in class. You put your legs teacher. up to the front of the strip you of all your terrible yeah. white habits. So either accept the fact that you were just a meat stick to me, or we can end this. Okay, Which you ever get with him? As in Kansas? He's been checking his voicemail on a computer. The IP address is in Wichita. And that was today? An hour ago. Thank you. What are you doing? <laughs> I saw it, Laurel. I was just checking to see if they had a suspect yet. Why? Because I don't want it to be you. I'm sorry, okay, what if Eve is wrong and the cops know who you are? What does Eve have to do with it? She's watching the case for Annalise. We're not doing this anymore. Creating problems for the right now? I have your own problems. I'm happy, Laurel. Try to be. It's because I'm out of time, so please, just let me. I'm sorry. Where you about I like this way. Oh, to. Oliver did a whole search on her and she's a Girl Scout. Worst thing she's ever done is protest a Marine Park. I knew that. You looked into her? Everybody gotta do research. Can't just date somebody and not know shit about them. You need to say. 
He was about to hit you. He wasn't. I know. Look, I'm just, I'm trying to help. You're doing a bad job. Listen to me. For once, just, just, just listen. They need to hear it straight from you. Some explanation of why you killed him in that moment. It doesn't matter how ugly you think it is or how bad you think it makes you look. Your only chance of getting out is you talk. She believes they won't listen. But if that's the case, it won't hurt. <sighs> I did what you did. Is there a camera behind you? Killed the guy. And I didn't have as good of an excuse as you. And you didn't I actually did. kill anybody. And I got away with it. Where well, you did hack the body up. I've never told anyone. Okay. Well, it's, it's messed a lot of stuff up for me. People around you that can sense that you're hiding something and it pushes them away. That's what's happening in that room. You know, every guy on that board can can see that you're not telling the truth and it makes them not trust you. But you can't afford that. You need them on your side. And the only way that happens is you finally talk. Annalise is like, I cannot fucking believe you just divulged that information. Right. She's pissed. I'm pissed. What'd you say to her? I didn't just give her a pep talk. No, you opened your fat mouth. Your fat fucking mouth. I suffer mouth. every day to keep you people safe. You. My career reputation, it's right. all on the line because of you. So no more screwing with my life just because you feel like it, understood? Get your shit together, Connor. I don't know why you ain't got your emotions in check. I don't know if it's Oliver, but get it to fucking get. You hear Connor finally lost his case? I don't know. It's not like anyone tells the meat stick anything anyways. I knew you were going to be a baby about this. Stacey and Nicole said that you were the one being the baby. <laughs> Why oh do you do that? He's like, you're the one being the baby. I'm proud of them. They're my girls, okay? And I think that you're oh, both. Uh, we're two different crap. It's actually a cover for the fact that they we're the same. You're ridiculous. I know you, Michaela. The real you. Okay. I know you came here to be Michelle or Hillary or RBG. And I came here to be my dad. Right? The better version. You know what? We met Annalise. We did bad things. And now we're different. Who is we, sir? the same. You can't see You did your own thing. Oh, yeah. Kayla was yeah. forced into a situation. That's not the same. She barely had anything to do with it. She cried the whole night. <laughs> like, we are not the same. You ran somebody over and sat there on top of her body. It was for the weeks leading up to the day. We're not the same. Miss Crawley. Okay, let's move on to your time in prison. We had no doors in the house. No one ever asked me why Rodney did that took doors off hinges so I wouldn't be able to hide. Came in once while I was peeing, yelling, grabbed my neck, stuck my head in the toilet. Mm. I almost drowned in my own urine. Another time he raped me with a hose. I'm not panda. Mm -mm. You want stories like that? No, I'm from my chicken sandwich. I got him. No, I, I can see that you want to know what I did with the hammer. I planned it. You were right about that. Not because he was going to beat me that day, but because he was going to beat me for the rest of my life. And looking ahead to that, feeling broken bones before they even happened. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to live with that. I made a decision. And you made the right one. I sat with that hammer for hours. And when he came home, I stood up and I hit him over and over again until I saw brains. I don't regret what I did. And still, I didn't feel that that made up for all the times that he hit me. So I hit him some more. You want me to say I'm sorry that I regret my actions? I do not. How could I? But I don't. But I'm not going to be out in okay, society murdering everybody. Okay, I'm decision everybody. that finally set me free. Exactly. So you could win? No, I, I hope she wins because that. Yeah, but you got her to talk. Which is a victory in itself. Yeah, but it, it's it's complicated and, I don't know, Annalise is kind of pissed at me, so. Yeah, well, she's always pissed at you. And am I not supposed to be trying to make you feel better here? What? I'm just scared. You love nervous. Annalise in jail if you say what I think you're going to say in there. Shouldn't she? Rodney raised you, right? I read that in the reports. I think that meant he abused you too. If I'm wrong, look me in my eye and say that. 
He wasn't a good man. No one is claiming that. But he also didn't deserve to die that way. He must have crossed your line, though. And he was hitting you. Mm -hmm. And yet, I never took a hammer to his skull. Because you don't have that strength. You, you got out. Right. And then I mean, took your place. Oh, this is his ex-wife? From. As a sister. Oh. I can't do it. I can't go in there and say nice things about her. I know. But that's something I'm asking you to do. Sibling, be a sister? What the fuck was the parents? Right. No, he raised yeah. her. I guess the parents died or left or something. If they died, they would have been a foster care or something. Well, unless he adopted her when he came to me. You can't do that. You gotta be stable to adopt somebody. You gotta have income, you gotta have a nice house, they gotta inspect that. That's a long process. Yeah. Well, it seems the victim's witness has decided to forego making a statement here today. The support, therefore, it's no further deliberation. We came to this decision after weighing statutory factors, the altered laws, and studies about the impact of domestic abuse. Your candor, Ms. Crawley, was another main factor in our decision. Free to go. We've decided to grant your application for parole. Thank you. We order for your immediate release. <laughs> This stunt yeah. would burn out on its Locked own. In there with it her. seems to be metastasizing. All the city papers have picked up the story, and the president has started to receive calls from several alumni and donors. Okay. The situation has become a university problem. What? So, with everybody's best interest in mind, we are notifying you that you are suspended. Huh? For... Or... At least until the board determines that your safety, the safety of our students, and the integrity of the university is no longer compromised. I'm sorry. But we need to take this step right now, Annalise. It's suspended? But we hope it's temporary. What? Y'all couldn't have used a different word? Not no. suspended, but... Last time I checked, I was a victim here. Absolutely. An anonymous, potentially dangerous individual chose to launch a smear campaign at my workplace, and your solution is to suspend me? Right. No. Professor, we are contractually within our rights. You worried about bad press? Try the headline, prominent attorney persecuted by elite university, not to mention a multi-million dollar lawsuit yeah, I'll file. Fucking with the I bet you'll one. get calls from the donors then. Annalise, please. No one that. here wants to escalate the situation. Lock me out of my classroom. I dare you. But you can't keep me from teaching my students. Yeah. Damn right. Nobody have control over her life. No, right. fuck all the way. There he is, young lawyer, home after winning his very first case. Well, she's trying to move on. Not big deal. Uh, you can pretend like you don't care, but I can tell you care. Come on, grab a bottle of champagne in the fridge. We'll celebrate. What's wrong? When do y'all want to go stay separated? I'm not working together, living together. Hey, man. It just doesn't work. No, I'm just confused. I love yeah. you. I need you right now more than you know. So, whatever you want, Pop, I'll, I'll do it. I just want to make you happy like you make me happy. And I know that I can. Please, just let me. I'm sorry. I just need to be alone right now. What about what I need? That's the point. I only ever do what other people want. The stuff of doing this for me. <laughs> so, if, if you really want to make me happy, then you'll let me go. Okay. I'm back. Go on. No, it's, it's your apartment. So. I'm tired of everybody's relationship. I, I don't want to hear nothing about Frank and Laurel, yeah. Michaela, Asher, and Connor. And I just I focus on the plot. Right. I don't care okay. about what y'all got going on in y'all lives. Surprise, Frank didn't teach you better. I'm tired of everybody. We never really played pool. Because you're too busy voting all the time. No. I have a question. Did you two ever hook up? Would you be jealous if we did? No. 
if I told you I was talking to him every day. Are you? Are you? I've been leaving him voicemails. He doesn't answer, but his mailbox is in full. So he's listening to them. You have to stop calling him. As if Annalise knew. She killed me, I know. You know, I was never really sure if I actually loved him. Laurel don't be lying like that. has gone. <laughs> I did. Hey. Get up there. He only thinks that because you don't know him. I know about Lila. There are worse things than murder, Laurel. Oh. You don't know that. And that's a good thing. But I know that. And Frank knows that. We've seen things you don't want to see. So stop calling him. Stop thinking about him. And kill the fantasy of Frank in your head. Well, if Wes was single and not mingling with Maggie, she has something to do. That's the only relationship I want to see. And I can't have it, so I don't want to see nobody else to see. Jersey, California, Kansas. So you can be anywhere. Philly. Yeah. Or in the fucking house. To come up behind you and kidnap me. Let me see if you're out, I need a bodyguard. Yeah, go right now. I'll be over after my shift. I just feel like he's about to come up behind us. Basement. Uh, he needs a place to stay. What's wrong? Asher better not be in here. I got Asher for a while. She wouldn't murder Connor. That wouldn't make sense. The only person I could see her murdering is Frank. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot can happen in two months, of course. I feel or like whoever. She did murder somebody because this whole time she's been like, I've never murdered anyone. I've never murdered anyone. And she's telling the truth. But. It, it could be the person that's putting up all these flyers, though. Somebody we haven't met yet. Mm 
Or maybe the person putting up the flyers is somebody we met. Maggie seems to think Annalise is doing it herself for attention, but I don't think so. Not with how bad she wants to move on. Um, nobody else has it out for her, like in the Keating Five. Everybody's, I mean, Asher probably wasn't too happy about being denied, but he's sleeping with Michaela, so he's getting everything he wants. He don't look like he's struggling at this point. He still made it to school. They don't see him work enough. Um, Bonnie's really bored, but I don't see why now she'd switch up. She knows she's been plotting. On what, though? Frank. That's why she said to um, Annalise, she was like, I have a plan. I got a plan. I've been cooking. Foods unthawed. About to go in the oven. Yeah, well, that's the plan they're trying to, you know, unfold with Laurel. But I, I what does this got to do with her dad? I know she mentioned her dad used to do some bad things, maybe. And he, apparently he can't go to Mexico anymore. So. It looks like this season we're going to be exploring Laurel and Frank's backs, backstories. And uh, I'm fine with that. They even kind of hinted at Michaela's with, through Asher saying, you know, I know you yeah. came here to do this, this, and that. So, um but it seems like primarily we're going to be focused on Laurel and Frank, which is cool. I like that each season we're kind of exploring like two to three characters' backstories. Because right. we got Wes and um, Annalise and Frank and, um, not Frank, I'm sorry, Annalise and Sam um, and Bonnie's, a bit a bit of Bonnie's last uh, season. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I don't know that I had too, too much to say. It was more of a chill episode. I, I like the case of the week with the um, lady getting parole. She's like, I don't want to tell these people nothing. I'm not sorry. And I know that'd be a big thing for people. Like, for certain crimes, like, I don't want to apologize for fighting my way out of a situation. Right. Like, sometimes, and I mean, obviously, I have never experienced this, but, like, I can imagine or at least empathize with somebody who's probably just been beaten so damn much that they don't want to be beaten again. Like, she described it perfectly anticipating the next broken bone like she didn't bend through all that she didn't heal you a person would get tired of being beat like that's right. just crazy like and the woman who was trying to defend him after experiencing somewhat of what it's she crazy is insane like all you had to do ma'am each time was say nothing right like which you did or at the end. in fact all you could have said was he's not a good man he's not a good man that's you could have defended her i mean i get it that's your sibling at the end of the day but you knew something in here was fucking awful. And you never at any point during anything did anything to stop it, to tell anybody. This right. man needed counseling. He needed help. He's abusing people for a reason. I don't know what happened to y'all parents if he abused, if they abused y'all. And that's why they wasn't, I don't know what, what the hell went on in y'all household, but it, it was rotten. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you enabled this man to continue beating this lady. And like Emily said, she just took your place and then you want to go against her. Right. No, 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 no. no. Okay. There's something rotten in you too. Right. So, mm -mm. so I, I'm she glad that. She two years for that. I'm glad that lady got out, but that's just it's, it's just a shame because she it's suffered. Her whole life. Suffered. I mean, was in a relationship. She was talking about getting beaten and raped, and all type of crazy stuff. Trying to drown her in her own urine. Like I can only imagine the horrific things he's done to this lady. And then after all of that, she goes and has to spend the majority of her life in jail. Right. Yes, she got parole, but I mean, that's not simple. You're on restrictions. You got to go work a job and what job are you going to get at this age with a felony, a murder felony on your record? Like she's going to be working the low end job. Granted, it was 2013, so it ain't the 2024 prices, but it, it still wasn't easy for people back then to try to get housing to make a life at the end of your life on top of that. Not necessarily the end of her life, but the last right, but quarter she of her retire, life. Maybe. But then she ain't got nothing to pay. Then right. you ain't retiring. If you ain't got nothing to put in, you ain't retiring. Right. You don't work till you dead. And that's the problem. Like her most of her life is over. And because she got put in a bad situation with and with uh, nah, I sympathize with her. Whatever she did was justified. Just it sucks that she um couldn't advocate for herself sooner and get out. That's terrible. But you gotta wonder how many stories there are like that. Right. So <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, it was a lot of relationship stuff going on. I ain't really want to hear none of that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really care about that. Never happened. I can't relate with um, Oliver's reasoning. You, I mean, right. you're upset that Connor's not upset. 
that you deleted his Stanford name because Connor literally keeps telling you, I don't want nothing but you. I just, you know what I mean? Like, at his worst moment, Oliver brought him comfort and, and helped him find love. He's not sleeping with other people. He, you know, he has sexual discipline now. He has focus. He has something stable in his life and he's happy. And then you're like, nope. But I, I kind of, the only thing that was somewhat understandable that he said was when he was like, I always do what everybody wants. I need to choose for me. I can understand that. But you at the same that time. for the relationship part? Like, huh? It doesn't make sense. Like, how does. You could put that into, okay, well, I'm just about to start making the dinner that I want. And I'm not making what you want for dinner. Because I need to start making I think it's a me. little. You know? I, I you could have put it into something else. I think it's a little deeper than that. I think it's. I don't know. Definitely I feel people. like he don't know what he really wants. Like yeah. he, I mean, it was obvious that he wants friends. He wants a real job. He wants to be appreciated, not wanted or needed. You know what I mean? Like he just wants to be able to do things on his own accord and be appreciated for it. Um, and like, and we saw in the beginning of the episode, like when everybody was talking about um, the breakup, and he was just in the back listening. Like he, he didn't like that. So I don't know. He just is trying to find his place, and he's trying to do that out. I, he really, it seems like, trying to find his individuality. Mm. And he's like, I don't want to be just this thing associated with Connor. I want to form my own identity. You know what I mean? I don't want to be referred to as Connor's boyfriend. I want people to know who Oliver is. Um, so I think that's kind of what that was about. Um, Honestly, with his hacking yeah. skills, he could really get high up in the living room. I mean, if he will, if that's what he wanted, but uh, yeah, no, he likes to do illegal things. Uh, yeah, I, I, he, I think he liked to be needed, and now yeah. he's like trying to figure out, like, okay, I want to. No, he wants something stable as well. Connor found stability, but Oliver didn't. So, but I think that's really all I got. I mean, it's shifted from, you know, in the flash forward, it looking like an, a murder to something Annalise, I mean, it's probably still a murder, but we thought Annalise was, this was like a target attack towards her and somebody else, but it looks like she might have planned it. So, I don't know. They always change the scenarios about eight different times because the story be so out of context and everybody be acting their ass off. So you don't really be knowing what's true and what's not. But we gonna get to it, y'all. Well, I'm sure we probably gotta wait till episode nine, so. Seven more episodes. That's all I got for y'all. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Of course, we want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to Patreon for more. And we'll see you guys for more. How to get away with murder. Bye.